Hello everyone. Today we will discuss how we can create the new user on SAP BTP web environment. So here you can see some link is already there. So in our case, we don't have a user and we are fresh. So using this link, we can create the new user. And here, one thing is here. If, if you have already a user for SAP BTP and moment, then you can use this link. Okay, so, but in our case, we don't have any user. So we'll go with this. Okay. So here <clears throat> you can see we have different plans. So here we'll go with this because it's free for us. So as you can see it is asking for the login details but we don't have any login because we are new. So now what we'll do, we'll do the register. So now here, fill the form accordingly. So for demo purpose, I'm filling. And put the mail ID. Add the password. Select the region accordingly. Click on register. Oops, I put I think invalid mail. No, try to register. Yeah, as you can see, one email link has been sent to your registered email ID. Okay, so now go to the email ID and open that link. So, yes, I received the email. And you can see there is a link. So from here you can activate your account. So just click on this. And do continue. So now your user has been activated successfully. So just go back your previous link and try to log in with this. Now our B2P cockpit is getting load. So here we have to do the sign in. Okay, so now you can see you have successfully um, successfully log in here and you can see your name as well at the top. So uh, click on trial home now it will ask the phone number so we'll put phone number
So put the code which you have received on your phone. And do the continue. So as you can see, we have successfully entered in a personal track version and you can see the welcome message. So here you can see we have two spaces, one for US and second for Singapore. So you can choose accordingly. So I'm going with US space and here we are creating a BTP app, trial account. So now what is happening here, you can see one global account is getting created along with one sub account and one space is also getting created along with this. This space is nothing, it's a our MF development space where we'll do our MF development. So this will take some time, I mean some few minutes. So wait for a minute, I think this will happen soon. Yeah, so here you can see our global account has been successfully created along with a sub account and here one space has been created successfully with within US region. So now I'll do continue. So now we'll see this screen and now click on go to your trial account so finally we are here so this is a B btp cockpit and this is the layout so here le on the left hand side you can see there is a button called booster just click on the same So here we'll create an instance for a web trial. So this is the instance and click on the start. So now here what is happening? So here one ABAP instance is getting created for us. So where we can do the development as and you can see some processes happening in the background. So this will take few minutes. So just wait for the same. Yeah, now our ABAP instance has been com completed and you can see it is asking for to download the service key. So here we have options. So uh, either we can download the service key or directly we can go to the service key. So I am choosing this.
so here you can see the service key so just click on view so this is our service key and this service key will use to connect with our backend system so I'll show you how we can connect with our backend system using this service key so now we'll open ADT so here this is our ADT and now what we'll do go to file new and click on at the cloud project so now here are two options we can use the ABAP service instance URL if you are having or we can use the SAP BTP ABAP environment so here in case we'll use this one so we have a service key so click on next now it will ask for the service key so now what we will do in previous steps we have service key so what we will do just copy that copy the service key and paste it over there go to next okay now this is screens up here so it is saying you have not yet logged on so what we'll do there is a button open log on page in browser just click on the same Click on file, new and a web cl cloud environment. Go to SAP BTP environment and use a service key. Just paste the service key which you have received in the previous step and go to next. Okay, now you are you are saying not yet logged on the same so what you need to do just click on open login page in browser and now you can see you have been successfully logged on on the BTP environment so it is asking for the new instance creation just click on next and you can rename the project name so I am putting BTP above environment click on finish now you can see here our SAP PTP environment has been successfully added now you can see here all objects has been loaded successfully and you can see there are lots of objects available within this package that look So here in this video you have seen how we can connect 
with the ABAP PTP environment and how we can create the user for the same. And in the last, you see how we can uh, connect with SAP BTP environment with our ADT system. So in the next video, we'll see how we can do the development on this ABAP environment using ADT. So hopefully you will like this video and we'll see in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you.